How to avoid joint replacement. Commonly two types of joint replacements are done. Hip replacement and knee replacement. Exercise and weight reduction are actually the first line of defense to avoid joint replacement. The most important step is lose weight. For every extra pound you carry, you put about three pounds of additional pressure on your knees. You put about six pounds of additional weight on your hips. If you have arthritis, losing just 15 pounds can cut your knee pain into half. Shedding pounds can reduce the pressure on weight-bearing joints. Be careful while using your joints. Bad posture and wrong techniques during your daily activities add more stress to damaged joints. By standing up straight, instead of sagging, you can protect the joints of your neck, hips, and knees. Use proper technique when lifting or carrying anything heavy. If any activity hurts you, stop doing it right away. Try non-surgical approaches before turning to surgery. Treatment with steroids is one approach. Benefits can last anywhere from four to six months. But steroids may not work for everyone. Visco supplementation. This involves injecting a lubricating fluid into damaged knee joints to treat osteoarthritis. Exercise stimulates the release of synovial fluid. The more you move your joints, the more a release of synovial fluid you have. It baths the cartilage, which doesn't have a blood supply. Instead, it depends on the synovial fluid to provide nutrients. Without cartilage, you have grating of bone on bone, which is as painful as it sounds. Get pain relief. The main reason for total knee replacement is for pain. If we can get rid of the pain, we can get rid of the real need to have surgery. Try safe painkillers with consultation with your doctor. Take them for the shortest possible time to relieve your discomfort. Glucosamine and chondroitin. There is some evidence that glucosamine and chondroitin can lead to subtle improvements in arthritis pain. Chondroitin sulfate helps to keep cartilage from deteriorating. Glucosamine stimulates cartilage formation and repair, strengthening the muscles that support your joints. For knee joint, the quadriceps in the front of the thigh and the hamstrings in the back are key to knee strengthening. The stronger your quadriceps are, the less load that gets transferred into the knee joint. Quadriceps exercise. Start exercising while lying down. Tighten your quads with your leg out in front of you. Lying on your stomach and raising your foot into the air to strengthen your hamstrings. Standing exercises such as leg lifts and curls, slowly graduate to exercising on weight machines. For hip joint, the gluteal muscles in the buttocks and flexors in the pelvis are important for hip strength and flexibility. Start with a number of different leg lifts, such as extensions and clamshells, before progressing to exercises on weight machines. Stretching is important to keep the muscles flexible. Stretching should be done after exercising. Exercising first brings more blood flow to the area and makes the muscle more amenable to change. You'll see a change in your muscles after four to six weeks of daily exercises. If you can walk only five minutes a day, walk for five minutes a day. If you stop, you'll go back to the way you felt before. Losing weight, strengthening muscles, and increasing flexibility may help you to avoid joint replacement. There's no guarantee that a program of weight loss and muscle strengthening will help everyone avoid joint surgery. I can definitely say I've had a number of patients who've canceled or delayed surgeries by doing this. Wishing you all healthy joints for a happy mobility.